Hello, uh, welcome to this video. Um, in this tutorial today I'm going to show you the four different kinds of default text commands that come with RPG Maker XP that can make your game building experience just a little bit easier. Um, it's going to be pretty simple, should be a pretty quick video. I'll walk through everything and then play test it so you can see everything in action. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, the first thing we want to look at is this little event down here. Um, all this is is uh, when the game starts, it's going to change two variables, the first one to 65, the second one to 999. Um, there is no significance um, in those numbers, they're just there for the demonstration. Um, afterwards, a cell switch turns on and it takes it to page 2 where the event will stop. That way we're not just in a loop of these variables constantly being set and it lags out the game or something. Um, so that's everything as far as that goes. So we can go ahead and jump right into it here. We'll just go from left to right. Um, the first guy that we have here is uh, the variable text command and he says that, hello I'm demonstrating the variable text command and now the first thing that you'll see is this backslash v and then the open bracket one close bracket and then you'll see the exact same thing but with a two instead of a one um, if you need to study this for a second feel free to just pause the video should be zoomed in enough for you to see um, so basically we took that variable one and we set it to a number took variable 2 and we set that to a number. So when we play test this, it's going to call that variable because we identified it as variable 1. So this backslash v1 is going to tell us 66 or whatever number that was and then the second one is going to tell us 999 because that's what it's set to. Um, it's basically useful for when you're trying to identify how many of something you have or if you need to have a certain amount or something like that. This way you can just call it in text and make it look a little more realistic. Um, you'll, if you don't understand, you'll see it when I play test it. Um, just keep in mind that this variable here, um, we've already set those to a number. Like somewhere in your game, you're going to have variables get set to a certain number, regardless of what it is, how many um, hell potions you have, keys you have, something like that. And uh, anyway, so you'll see that a little more uh, here in a second. Uh, the second guy that we have here is to, uh, his purpose is to show your name. So, uh, for example, if you have a event that lets you change the name of a party member and you want their name to be referenced in a text box, um, this is how you would do this. Um, basically, it goes by the order they are in the database. So, number one is Alexis, the main character, or, you know, you may switch them out later, something like that. Um, the second one, I think, is Basil or something like that. The third one is whoever she is, and so on and so forth. Um, and this is what this is useful for. So, when we go to this guy, um, he will tell us that the name is backslash n, open bracket, one, close bracket. Um, all that will do is call the first party member in the database, which is Alexis. So it's going to say the main character's name is Alexis. He'll go on to say, oh, I'm sorry, you don't like that name. You'll be able to change your name, and then he'll say, oh, good, your name is now whatever we changed it to. Um, you do that by backslash in open bracket one close bracket, or if you're trying to reference the second person in the database, you'd put a two, third person, etc. Uh, moving on here. The third guy, uh, all he does is change the text color, and you do that by anywhere in your text when you want to change, you backslash C, open bracket, whatever color you want. Um, each number corresponds to a color. Um, you'll see here in a comment I have the list of them. So if you put backslash C1, it's going to make your text blue, which you'll see. 2 is red, 3 is green, 4 is light blue, so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, uh, we will see that in just a moment. And finally we get to this guy who is, uh, he shows you the gold window. Um, this is good for like if you're trying to purchase an item from something that isn't a shop. If a guy's just like, hey man, you want to buy some, you want to buy some, uh, organs from the black market or something like that. He's, uh, you need to, you need to know how much gold you're going to have. Um, so if it's 5,000 gold and you're like, well, hell, I don't know, you know, do I want this? Do I not want this? You need to be able to see that. So essentially in any text box or any show choice command, um, if you just put a backslash G, it will prompt it for just that text window to show your gold. Um, so for example, he's going to say, say I want you to buy an item and prompt you to say yes or no. What if you didn't know how much gold you currently had? There's not going to be a gold window there because we didn't put slash or backslash G. But when it shows the choices, yes, I'll buy it, or no, fuck you, um, it will, because we have uh, backslash G. It'll display the window, the yes or no window, as well as how much money you have currently in your inventory. 
Oh, so uh, that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. So we'll go ahead and jump into this here and see what it looks like in the actual game. Okay, uh, we're gonna walk up. Go to this first guy on the left. If, you're, if you remember, we have a variable, two variables set to a uh, to a number, and this gentleman here is going to tell us what they are. So, uh, hello, I am demonstrating the variable text command. The amount that variable one is set to is. 65, the amount that variable 2 is set to is 999. And remember that's backslash v open bracket 1 close bracket that identifies variable 1. Replace the one with the 2 it identifies variable 2. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Moving on to the second guy. Uh, this guy demonstrates the show name text command. So the first person in your party and main character's name is Aluxus. Oh I'm sorry you don't like that name. We'll go through here. Let's change him to Brett. Press OK. Ah, oh, good. Your name is now Brett, and he identifies it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm sure you can see how that's incredibly useful for building, you know, any any kind of depth in your characters to be able to reference them by name if they know them. Um, and this guy's uh, the text color guy. Um, so we have blue, red, green, light blue, so on and so forth. And now we'll go to this guy in the blue armor. Um, he's demonstrating the gold window text command. Um, wants us to buy an item, so he's asking us, you want to pay this much? Uh, yes, I'll buy it, no fuck you, and you'll see now we have a nice little gold window. Um, no fuck you, just because, you know, he has blue armor. Fuck that guy. And uh, that's it. So I uh, hope you learned something from this. Uh, it's pretty, pretty useful stuff to know. Um, definitely, like I said, adds depth to your game, so I hope this helps you out, and uh, good luck. Send me a message if you need something.